All right. Um, hi, everyone. This is Sai from Art Bazaar, and today we're interviewing Ashley Taylor. Uh, and I would like to first uh, ask Ashley to introduce himself and uh, to tell us a few words about what he does, uh, what his hobbies are. Um, just a quick introduction. Hello, uh, so I'm Ashley Taylor. Uh, uh, I'm a software architect and I live in Christchurch, New Zealand. So uh, one of my main hobbies would be cycling and this is sort of a, a great city for that. It's really well set up for, for biking. Uh, what about the competition that you started on Org Bazaar? What were you looking to achieve? So, several years ago, me and my wife, we bought a, a beer section on, a, on the hill in Christchurch uh, with the plan of building one day. And we talked to a few people that had gone through the traditional approach of building, with sort of um, hiring an architect, and found that you got really just one idea from them, and it normally ended up really expensive. So um, someone at work had used a, a crowdsourced website to design the gate for $20 and they were really happy with the outcome. So I decided to design the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. And was it the first time you were using a crowdsourcing platform? Yeah, it was my first time using one. Well, was it first time but not last time? How was your experience? Uh, it was great. I'd definitely, definitely do it again. Yeah, it was really fun. I found I was always just checking my emails to see if there's any more questions or submissions. Maybe. <laughs> and um, I checked the stats for uh, your competition and I saw that you had 24 entries, which um, I think is a great number. That's a, a very nice choice of options you must have had. But, you know, from uh, your perspective, considering that you never used a crowdsourcing platform before, what were your expectations? in terms of how many submissions you would be getting and you know 24 was that exceeding or uh, meeting your expectations or maybe actually not meeting them? Um, so I've looked at the other competitions that have been run on Arc Bazaar and I, I sort of thought that if I'd gotten 10 good ones I'd be really happy. Um, so when I got 24 submissions that was, was pretty cool. <laughs> so some of them better than others. <laughs> but all, all fun to look at and see the, just the different ideas is that people had from all over the world. That's great. Um, now, the way that Org Bazaar works, in case someone is watching who is not familiar with the process yet, is that um, a client, a homeowner or a business submits a competition and uh, designers from all over the world submit their ideas. There is a certain time frame within which they can do that. And uh, then uh, a client, in this case you, were selecting top three designs and Art Bazaar then selects the winner. And uh, in terms of the finalists uh, and the designs that you saw from the finalists that you selected, are there any elements of the designs or perhaps the entire design that you're pl uh, planning on implementing? Um, so the one that we chose as the winner, we are in the process of doing the detailed design to build that house. So we, we've had to change it a little bit, um, it came in a little bit over budget when we got it costed, but uh, uh, we worked with the original architect to make some of the changes and we're just in the process of handing it off to a, a local architect to do the New Zealand specific um, requirements for, for consent. And we hope to be breaking ground for that house in the end of August, it's the, it's the goal. Exciting. Uh, you mentioned the New Zealand specific requirements. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Um, so uh, the, the New Zealand building code just has some information like how, how does a wall have to be braced and for someone that's not familiar with that building code would be, it'd be a lot to learn because each country will have probably similar requirements but the, the, the New Zealand regulation will probably pick out a few points. So the, the architect, the original architect was uh, um, really good and happy to collaborate with the uh, 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 local architectural technician to, to do that um, sort of detailed design work. It's all going really smoothly so far. <laughs> That's great to hear. Um, and uh, what were you looking for before you started a uh, competition? Did you have any sort of a vision? for what you wanted to see in the final project or you were just open to sort of any styles, any design um, aesthetics? 
So I, I quite like a sort of a contemporary design, but I wanted to leave it in, uh, um, intentionally vague to try and have a, a wider range of ideas and just sort of say this is the number of rooms I want in it and this is the rough size of the spaces. Uh, and yeah, most of them uh, did, did achieve the requirements of what I wanted in the house and they, they definitely varied in, in design. Uh, I tried it myself, I tried to design my own house on the section and I, I put up my attempt on the website and then when I saw the first submission that came in, I just wanted to delete mine, I said, why I bother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Um, and are you planning on using OrgBazaar or a crowdsourcing platform in general um, in the future, based on your experience so far? Yeah, um, definitely. So we'll, we'll probably have to do some landscaping work, and and I'll probably use OrgBazaar again since it was so fun the first time. And just that, just that variety of inputs that you get from it is just really, really fantastic. That's great to hear. Thank you, Ashley. Have a great rest of the evening then.